This is the Insta360 GO 3, and there are so many things about this camera that you need to know, and this video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. Now, when I received this camera and opened the box, I was shocked to find how many accessories came in the box. I mean, for instance, like this magnetic pendant, it has this mount for your hat that the Go 3 just pops into. It's just super cool that it comes with this, and they could have so easily sold this action pod separately, pulling an Apple move, but they didn't. They decided to include all this in the box. Now, to help you decide if this is the right camera for you, I've decided to break this video up into two different sections. First, I'll talk about all the things that make this such an awesome camera, and then I'll go into the things that aren't so good about this camera that you definitely need to know. So right off the bat, I love the design. And the main reason for that is it's so nice to have this little tiny camera and then just being able to pop it into this action pod. And now you have a full, nice touch screen, just like a GoPro. And it also flips up so you have that nice, same big screen for vlogging. But the icing on the cake here is that when you take the Go 3 out of the action pod, the action pod still gives you a live preview of what the Go 3 is seeing so you can frame up your shot. Okay, so here's a perfect example of how useful this Go 3 is. So I've just put the camera up here, but the problem was when it was in the action pod, I could not see what the camera was seeing. So I was able to just pop it off, put it up here, and then look on the back of the action pod and frame up my shot perfectly. And this is a good real world example of how you could actually use this. Yeah, this is super, super useful. I also love the mounting system on this camera. It's so nice to be able to just have a mount on the Go 3 and then pop the Go 3 out pull out the little tiny camera and put it on the same mount. That is super cool, and I really think that that's ingenious and it works so well. Okay, now filming with the Insta360 GO 3 video and audio. Now what I think is noteworthy is that the Insta360 GO 3 has a removable lens, which is super nice in case you accidentally drop the camera and break the lens. You can just swap it with a new one instead of having to replace the whole camera, which is just really nice and a must have for an action camera. Now a couple other nice features about this Insta360 GO 3, it's stabilization. And yeah, um, I did not bring the right shoes for that. It's waterproof. It has 2.7K video resolution. It has a very responsive touchscreen that just feels like an iPhone and not like a laggy GoPro. It's reliable and easy to use, which is just super nice. Plus, it does have amazing battery life, which I have been very, very happy with. Oh yeah, and this is the world's smallest camera, so you won't get any action camera that's smaller than this. But no action camera is perfect, so let's talk about the cons of this Insta360 GO 3. But right before I do that, I need you to hit that subscribe button because if every single one of you watching this right now hits that subscribe button, I can start making way more content for you guys at this high quality level. So go down and do that right now. Okay, so now it's on to some small cons about this Insta360 GO 3. As I mentioned earlier, the Insta360 GO 3 is waterproof. However, the action pod is not. It's just splash proof. So that is a little bit of a downside. It also has great battery life, as I mentioned. However, it is not removable. So when you run out of battery, you kind of run out of battery and that's it. Of course, unless you had a battery bank. Now, now, to me, these are relatively minor cons. However, there's one con that I've heard a consistent complaint about on the internet, or more of a question, and that is, is the image quality good enough? And how does it compare to the GoPro? Well, let's find out. Okay, now we're filming on the Insta360 GO 3 and GoPro Hero 11 to kind of compare this image quality. Now, what I do want to say is, while the Insta360 GO 3 might not have as good image quality as the GoPro Hero 11, it is definitely a lot smaller, which might allow you to capture shots that are just not possible on the GoPro Hero 11. So that's just something that you need to consider when looking at these two cameras. Image quality is not everything. While it is a lot, it's not everything. So just take that into mind when looking at the image quality of these two cameras, and that should help you decide which one is right for you. Now, after comparing the footage from this to the GoPro and going kind of back and forth between some different cameras, I've kind of come to the conclusion that this footage is really not that bad. It looks pretty good. However, it's not the GoPro Hero 11 quality. I mean, obviously it's 5.7K on the GoPro currently, and it just looks quite a bit better, but let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and make sure you use those links down in the description and pinned comment if you are planning on picking up the Insta360 GO 3. 